I've been looking around at various push bumpers, uh, hoops that go in front of the bumper uh, for my 2004 F-150. Uh, a lot of them were in the $200 range and looked somewhat like universal bars with vehicle specific uh, mounts and they were all pretty lightweight and appeared to be 100% um, full looks providing zero function so I found the Satina PB400 um, and it arrived yesterday uh, UPS pretty nice packaging very nicely boxed wrapped up I'm going to take it out of the box uh, a few things set this apart. First off, it's aluminum, so it's lighter. Uh, it actually has nice rubber uh, surrounding the, the, uh, the perimeter of it. Uh, and it's specially made for your vehicle. So when you order it, it takes about five weeks. I'll check. It may have taken four, probably close to five. They actually have to make it just for yours. Um, it was around, it was just under $300 before shipping. So it costs more than the others, but it is far more substantial than the others. Um, nothing I've seen online really comes close to this. The the Weston bars, a lot of the uh, the hoops that that sit down down low, um, were just this thin steel. Uh, now this is the mid height bar. There's a mid height and a full height. They're the same price. Uh, I, I like the look of the mid height. I really don't need it to go uh, all the way to the top of the hood. So I'm going to stop talking and take it out of the box. Okay, here it is out of the box. Uh, it came nicely wrapped with a box, another box taped. Uh, taped, uh, what is this? Uh, saran wrapped or plastic wrapped. So, um, Let's see what's inside there. Nice brackets. Some uh, look like bolts with uh, handles on them, so you can get them get them somewhere. It's hard to access. Came with, with a nice package of hardware. Here are the instructions. 2004 to 2008 F-150 against the PB 400 and the directions and another nicely wrapped bracket this stuff is so this stuff is really nice wow. I am blown away by the quality of this stuff. All right, let's see, uh, let me read the directions. Okay, the installation looks pretty straightforward. I have tow hooks, so you just remove those two bolts. Uh, I believe they're 15 millimeter uh, socket. So you remove the tow hooks and you install the bracket in place of the tow hook. And then this bolts to the push bar. So I'm going to remove these tow hooks and uh, put these brackets up in place. The no tow hook directions uh, involve using those 
bolts with um, little arm fingers on them so you can get them into the frame, but you will not need this for if you have the Telux. Okay, I'm using a 15 millimeter socket. Okay, just a note here, and they did mention this in the directions, the threaded insert piece here in the frame can move around. So you want to carefully, if you just push up this seat, you can see there, it moves back and forth. So you have to carefully thread this up and in, and once you get the one in, the, that'll we won't allow this to go any deeper or shallower, but it can still go back and forth. Uh, so I'm just be careful when you when you install these. I'm gonna put a little more never seize anti seize on these and uh, install the bracket. I'm gonna leave it a little loose so um, the bar can be bolted in place and uh, then I'll tighten it up, maybe even torque it. Okay, both brackets uh, installed, not really tightened down too much, they can float around a little bit. Uh, they are angled up as you can see, uh, the horizontal part's angled up but the vertical part is uh, 90 degrees. Uh, the spacers are not required on the vehicles equipped with towhawks. So now you just use the included hardware. It's a T45 Torx and a 9 16 uh, wrench to install three bolts on each side. And uh, that should be it. Let's see how it lines up. Okay, I got the bar here. This thing is so nice and lightweight, made out of aluminum. All right, I'm going to It's great. I just got to tighten it up. Uh, still, a little moves around a bit. Still have to tighten those up. But that looks great. All 
Okay, just to show you how these bolts line up on the inside, this comes out from the tow hook bolts, and then you have these three holes. Uh, the nuts go on the inside, and the nuts actually have little teeth that keep them from spinning once they make contact. So on this side, all you need is the T45. I can't I'll forget that in focus. There we go. T45. And I use a 3 8 ratchet just to snug those up. After those were tight and the ones on the other side were tight, I went back to the bolts that hold the bracket on, the uh, tow hook bolts, and I used the 15mm uh, on a half inch ratchet just to get those <clears throat> nice and tight. Okay, here it is with the installation complete. I had to level it a little bit. Uh, these are oval shaped holes, so I had to just lower it a little bit on this side. Uh, the one bracket is touching the uh, the plastic part on the bumper a little bit on this side and there's a little gap on this side so um, again that's a, that's the body mount or the or the frame just being a little bit off uh, but it's this is how it sits when it's leveled off the top bar is pretty much across the right in front of the the Ford emblem maybe a little bit below it Okay, I really want to highlight how nicely made this is, and this is really thick aluminum, and the rubber piece is held on by a, uh, another piece of aluminum welded up on here to really hold it on nicely. And all the welds look great on this cross piece. The vehicle hardware fit really well, and that adjustment I had to make is very well likely due to my frame or body not being aligned exactly and the uh, the, the Torx uh, Torx head bolts are really nice quality I actually put a little lubricant on these because um, I would turn these uh, and leave the nut so it would it would bite into the uh, the bracket side so I didn't mar the uh, or chip away any any powder coating but I would definitely suggest this over, at least over any other bars I've seen that are just, uh, appear to be just for looks.